His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, inaugurated the 42nd edition of the Bahrain Fine Arts Exhibition today at the Bahrain National Museum in the presence of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities President, Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. A number of ministers, MPs, senior state officials, diplomats, press, media and business figures, as well as intellectuals, artists and supporters of Bahrain's fine art movement. His Royal Highness attributed the continued renewal and evolution of the Kingdom's cultural and artistic movement to the creativity of successive generations of talented artists, saying today's Bahraini artists had been inspired by the work of pioneering Bahraini artists to create a unique Bahraini art style that blends tradition and modernity and harmony that reflects Bahrain's civilization and progress. His Royal Highness said the Bahraini fine arts movement has achieved further progress both locally and internationally and artists are keen to participate due to its excellent reputation and organization. His Royal Highness toured the exhibition and was briefed on the paintings and artistic works which number 87 pieces of art and represent various schools of art. He praised and admired the Bahraini artists' artworks, experiences and creative techniques, noting this year's exhibition has retained its glamour and showcased the creativity of Bahraini artists. His Royal Highness expressed his admiration of the exhibition, saying it was on par with its international counterparts and has become an annual occasion for artists to take part in. He affirmed the government's support for cultural and artistic activities and its care for gifted artists based on its belief in the importance of culture and art and the message it carries in expressing the advancement of societies. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of investing in art and culture in order to achieve further progress and called on artists to use their talent to enhance peaceful coexistence in the face of terrorism. He praised the work of the Bahraini artists, which represent various modern and contemporary fine art schools, saying that Bahrain's annual Fine Art Expo would remain a milestone in the progression of Bahraini art, and expressed thanks and appreciation to Sheikh Amey and all the authority staff for their efforts in preparing and organising the exhibition. Sheikh Amey extended sincere thanks and gratitude to His Royal Highness for patronising the exhibition since its inception, noting His Royal Highness's kind gesture to support artists, which reflects the Kingdom's pride in their artistic works and creativity. She said this year's exhibition is being held under the slogan, Bahrain is your destination, and provides an opportunity to create a sustainable development in Bahrain that enhances the cultural infrastructure. Honorary President of the Bahrain Art Society, Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, expressed appreciation to His Royal Highness for his continuous support and said that the noticeable progress would not have been achieved if it wasn't for the support. The names of the competition winners were announced during the exhibition.
His Majesty the King's personal representative for charity work and youth affairs, chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronised the laying of the foundation stone of the Maharak Model Youth Centre in the presence of a number of senior officials. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his keenness in further developing the youth and sports sector in the Kingdom through establishing youth centres that provide various facilities for youths. His Highness noted the government's keenness to activate the role of youths on both national and development levels and affirmed the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports' keenness to establish well-equipped youth centres in cooperation with the Ministry of Sports and Youth Affairs with the aim of attracting youths and developing their skills. Deputised by His Majesty the King's personal representative for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Charity Organisation, the RCO, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the World Giving Index 2015 ceremony organised by the RCO. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his congratulations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the occasion of ranking the Kingdom as the first GCC and Arab country and the 13th internationally according to the World Giving Index 2015. His Highness said that this achievement reflects Bahrain's remarkable efforts in providing humanitarian assistance to different countries as well as for the Kingdom's initiatives in supporting countries that suffer from war and natural disasters. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his constant keenness in providing humanitarian assistance to various countries and hailed Bahrain's leadership's support of the RCO. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in the Kingdom's achievement and hailed the remarkable efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in supporting the field of humanitarian aid. His Highness Sheikh Khalid also honoured members of the Board of Trustees and staff of the RCO.
The Bahrain International Air Show 2016 opens tomorrow at Sakhir Air Base. More on this highly anticipated event now from Daniel Deporto. The fourth biennial Bahrain International Air Show, BIAS 2016, opens tomorrow at Sakhir Air Base for a three day run under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. It has been organised under the direction of the BIAS Supreme Organising Committee, chaired by personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, by the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, the Royal Bahraini Air Force and Farnborough International. Meanwhile, over 20 military chiefs and senior government officials gathered today ahead of the air show for the Manama Air Power Symposium. The prestigious Bahrain International Air Show centers on business dealings amongst civil and military aviation organizations and features myriad networking opportunities, exhibitions, trade shows, entertainment and live performances. Additionally, this year, a hosted buyer program will be introduced and the International Air Transport Association, IATA, will be holding a special seminar regarding its new standard safety assessment program. Participation in this year's air show is up 30% from 2014, with 128 companies representing 34 countries involved, and the feature pavilion will be 47% larger than the last edition. Highlights of this year's air show include the commemoration of 200 years of official British Bahraini relations, the 40th anniversary of the first Concorde flight to Bahrain, the display of around 100 assorted aircraft and acrobatic helicopter and special forces parachute display teams from Bahrain and around the world. Additionally, there will be extensive entertainment for families, including a heritage village, flight simulators and aerial shows. All safety preparations have been thoroughly addressed over the past several months, with the collaboration of virtually all police and military branches and the Ministry of Interior, to ensure the security and enjoyment of all participants and stakeholders. Bahrain is widely regarded as the historical centre of aviation in the Gulf. The Kingdom launched the region's first international carrier, Gulf Air, and was the first to open an international airport. With this esteemed reputation boosted by each edition of the air show, BIAS 2016 promises to deliver on many fronts for many organizations, from Bahrain, the region and the world. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto.